In this video, we're going to explore various kinds of refracting surfaces in the Optics module, starting with Plane Refracting Surface. Simply select the Plane Surface tool from the toolbar and draw it over the canvas. Take the help of the instructions bar if needed. Now, let's project white light and parallel beam over the surface. Notice, that in both cases, rays are bending towards the normal due to refraction, along with dispersion which is naturally observed in white light. Let's consider refracting slab. First turn on the grid, then select arbitrary refracting surface and draw it over the canvas. Then project white light over it, to observe dispersion. Click on the edge of the surface to select it and go to the properties table. You can change the refractive index from here. Or, you can change the dispersive power from here. Also, if you increase the reflectivity number, you will notice both refraction as well as reflection. Now select the ray and change the ray count to 1 from the properties table. You will see that the incident ray and the emergent ray is parallel to each other, which you can verify using the line tool from the geometry module. You can also calculate the lateral shift by drawing a perpendicular line to the incident ray and then selecting the measure length tool. Now, draw such surfaces one over the other and decrease their refractive indices uniformly. Project a monochromatic ray, that is, a single ray over the bottom slab at an angle. You will notice that the ray is emerging out after a curvature, due to repeated refraction away from normal. Now, let's consider prism. Select the arbitrary tool from the toolbar, and draw a prism over the canvas. Project the white light over the prism, and you'll see the dispersion pattern. You can increase the disparative power of the prism and increase the ray count to make the simulation more immersive. Now create an inverted identical prism, and you will notice that the rays are emerging out without any dispersion. Let's create curved surfaces. First select the arbitrary surface tool and then draw it over the canvas. Note, to draw the curved part, click to select a point and drag the mouse cursor while keeping it pressed. Similarly, you can create a real lens, then project parallel beam horizontally over it. Notice the rays do not meet at a single point, unlike ideal lens. Hope you got an idea of how to draw and understand curved refractive surfaces in some fee.